uh, one of the drama that's known as Rocco, uh, with whom uh, I started collaborating uh, during his uh, PhD in, uh, in Paris, uh, in the group of uh, with the program. We continued our collaboration during uh, uh, his uh, postdoc in, uh, in Montpellier, and now he's, um, he has moved in, um, in Tübingen at the beginning of this year. I hope we, we can continue uh, to collaborate. So we will talk about uh, some targets uh, uh, which are directed against the spinal assembly checkpoints that are really promising as um, the, these are antimicrotic agents uh, acting in a, in a different way as uh, compared to the conventional agents uh, in that they, um, uh, they do not, do not uh, uh, block mitosis but they accelerate mitosis. So I think that uh, could be also intriguing and promising for cancer therapy. So thank you, thank you, Leo. Thank you very much. So welcome again. Uh, I will talk today about the target in the spinal assembly checkpoint attacks the spinal assembly checkpoint for cancer therapy. So what's cancer? Cancer is a term used for diseases in which abnormal cell divides without control and uh, cell become able to invade other tissue. Uh, and this, uh, this is called uh, metastasis. We uh, um, can divide cancer. Uh, we can divide cancer in uh, several uh, types, like carcinoma, for example, which constitute uh, about 80 to 90 percent of uh, reported cancer, and is uh, um, constituted by uh, responsible by epithelial cells, and uh, other sarcoma and leukemia and uh, uh, other types of, of, of cancer. So what happens in cancer cell really? Uh, cancer uh, cell become uh, deregulated and undergo uncontrolled uh, cycles in many uh, ways, maybe mutation in cellular machinery leading to the non-properly detection and reparation of mitotic error. Uh, and the cell is allowed uh, to move through uh, unchecked mitosis or uh, uh, other uh, um, ways, uh, mutation in one or more mitotic checkpoints and this allows uh, also the cell to move from uh, one phase to other uh, of the mitosis without uh, control. Uh, but what really mitosis is? Mitosis is uh, not uh, nuclear division uh, plus cytokinases and produce two identical double cells during uh, um, so prophase or metaphase, uh, so the, the, the phase of, of, of the phase, uh, the phase of mitosis. And here you can see clearly the a normal mitosis, normal cell division, and uh, <coughs> well, so <laughs> and uh, uh, antiphase is often tied with mitosis, but antiphase is technically part, uh, not part of mitosis, but rather from, uh, and uh, uncompressed at stage G one uh, uh, S, which are the, the DNA um, duplication and G2 uh, and G2. And to uh, perform a, a normal or a normal cell cycle, uh, we uh, need checkpoints, and uh, several checkpoints exist to allow cells uh, to, to, to perform a good division. Uh, the DNA checkpoint, the DNA replication checkpoint, the antiphase uh, checkpoint, but maybe the most important one is the spindle assembly checkpoint, it uh, occurs during the, 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 the mitosis. And uh, what is really, I would say, what is that? What, what, uh, what uh, the sac uh, do in reality? Uh, during the prometaphase, when the chromosomes are really uh, conversated, and they will, uh, um, uh, they are captured by the, the, let's say, by the, uh, by the, um, well, so the, the chromosomes are uh, arranged uh, arrange uh, onto the metaphase uh, meta plate. So during the space, that uh, are active to be sure. Before, uh, before, before, before. To be sure that uh, the chromosomes chromosome are, are well uh, uh, arranged and is completely relieved during the metaphase. And still, is still inactive during the metaphase. But if this problem happens, if problem happens, for example, uh, one or more chromosomes are not uh, really uh, um, uh, good arranged uh, 
into the metaphase uh, plate, uh, the stack remain active until the correct uh, uh, establish uh, the correct um, uh, rearr uh, arrangement of these chromosomes, and if problem persists, uh, cell undergo death. And uh, sac, comp uh, sac is uh, composed by several protein like the Buber one, the Mat two, and Bub one. But also, uh, um, my favorite maybe protein is the MPS one, MPS one protein. Uh, so MPS1 is a dual specificity, specificity protein kinase and is uh, essentially localized in the kinetic core. Uh, MPS1 is uh, an active compound of the spender assembly sac point and ensure proper B, uh, orientation uh, of sister chromatid in the mitotic spindle. Uh, and MPS1 kinase have also functioned from the earliest step of mitosis, including the spindle pole duplication, uh, to the latest step. Uh, um, the cytokinesis. And PS1 is also uh, active uh, in both meiosis, uh, meiosis 1 and 2, and have other uh, um, role uh, in other synaptic pathway like the genotoxic uh, stress response. So, uh, what will happen if we uh, will inactivate or inhibit MPS1 in cell cycle and, and, uh, and, ca and, and cell death? So, to investigate this, we have several uh, model and several cancer line, uh, P53 wild type, mutated or deficient, but also diploid and tetraploid cell, um, HTBGSP uh, cell, uh, that's mean with a green uh, uh, fluorescent nucleus for video microscopy, and also uh, in vivo and in vivo model. So just two words about tetraploidy and P53. Tetraploidy uh, 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 is a genomically uh, uh, metastable state and tetraploid cell has been de detected in the uh, early stage of multiple cancer cell type. And this uh, chromosome instability confer a resistance to cancer, uh, to, uh, to treatment. Uh, so this, uh, the, the tetraploid uh, uh, cell are intrinsically resistant against DNA damage and, and, uh, uh, and uh, other drug used in chemotherapy. And P53, the tumor suppressor, suppress, suppression protein, uh, whose function is most frequently uh, lost in human cancer, and half of the all human cancer have no functioning P53 protein or uh, an interrupted uh, P53 pathway. And tumor herboric P53 mutation are generally more resistant to treatment than the wild type one. So we have also a collection of, uh, let me say, uh, inhibitor of MPS1, like Reversine, SP600, 125, or as it. But also we developed um, with um, a Dutch company, Biogenic Pharma, the newest uh, and more specific uh, in MPS1 inhibitor in collaboration with ELIO and uh, uh, with the Guido Kromer Laboratory. And we start to evaluate the cytotoxic activity of, the, of these inhibitions, of, of the MPS1 inhibition. And uh, uh, we perform kind of basic tests in reality is the, the check the uh, cellular integrity using the PI and the mitochondrial transmembrane potential to, uh, uh, to check the early step of apoptosis. And here, for example, we can see clearly uh, uh, the proportion of dying cell if uh, we are in the context of, of death. And uh, this uh, event represents the, the dead cell. And by this uh, technique or by this method, we are uh, 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 um, we can clearly see after a treatment of cell of several cell, for example here in the context of wild type and P53 knockout or P53 deficient cell, in the context uh, in this context after uh, MPS1 inhibition by reversine or SP, we uh, kill cancer cell. But also another context diploid and tetraploid, after inhibition of MPS1, we kill also uh, cancer cell. I will maybe uh, uh, um, tell you uh, some uh, information about the specificity of tetraploid versus diploid, or maybe P53 uh, versus uh, uh, um, wild type 1. But we know that when we inhibit MPS1, we, uh, uh, we induce a cytotoxic effect in, in cancer cell. Also here with the three newest uh, uh, MPS1 inhibitor, we can clearly see a huge effect and uh, um, a very nice uh, cytotoxic effect.
The same thing with SV specific uh, uh, sRNA in the context of uh, diploid or tetaploid. Here we induce uh, cell toxicity. We used also other techniques like the uh, evaluation of the sub G1 population, but also the clonogenic assay, which are the very uh, uh, interesting tests to evaluate the effect of our drug in uh, um, late time after two weeks of treatment, for example. We can see clearly that cells, comparatively to the control, are not allowed to produce or to, 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 to grow as a colony. And this uh, confirmed the cytotoxic effect of the MPS1 inhibition on cancer cells. So uh, uh, what are the molecule, molecular mechanisms underlying this, uh, this effect in reality? So we, uh, uh, we saw uh, 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 that cells uh, lost their mitochondrial transmembrane, uh, transmembrane potential uh, when we use the, the, the DIOC dye here, for example, but also when we use other tests, uh, I, I guess you know is the, the inexine one, we, we clearly see that a uh, cell also exposes the phosphatidylserine uh, at the surface. But also cell uh, release the cytochrome C from mitochondria and uh, activate the Caspar 3. You can see here is the, the, the quantification of the data after treated with two different uh, MPS1 inhibitors. And when we uh, co-inhibit or, co or we co-treat cell with uh, MPS1 inhibitor, or with uh, um, caspase inhibitor uh, that we uh, uh, um, decrease the, death, the cell death induced uh, by um, the MPS1 inhibition. And uh, when we inhibit the anti-apoptotic protein of the VCL2 uh, family, we sensitize the cell to the MPS1 inhibition. For example, here, after, inhibition, after, after in, uh, using the sRNA, of MCL1 or BCLXL, for example. And, uh, a contrario, when we knock out the pro-apoptotic protein, including the BCL family member Bax and Puma, here in this context, and the post-mitochondrial caspase activator, APAF1, we exert a, cyto a cytoprotective effect. Uh, the same experiment in another uh, context, uh, for example, by using uh, uh, knockdown, uh, knockout um, uh, cancer model, or also when we use um, a molecule that inhibit this BCL2 uh, family uh, protein. And this uh, result of this combination of treatment, when we inhibit the BCL2 family protein and when, uh, when, we, when we inhibit MPS1, was uh, published as a patent last year, all, um, always in collaboration with uh, Biochemic Pharma and uh, Guido Kramer uh, Laboratory. So uh, we can clearly say that when we inhibit MPS1, we induce the apoptosis in, in, in cell, and this is the pathway of, of death uh, after this inhibition. So, uh, but what, what really happens in, 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 uh, in cell and uh, in relation with the cell cycle? We, uh, when we uh, um, observe cell and, uh, with micro microscopy, we can clearly see that cell uh, become bigger, let's say, um, and especially in the context of P53 knockout. And when we observe them with uh, uh, micro, uh, electronic microscopy, we can clearly see this difference between, for example, treated cell and, no, and control one. So cell become bigger, and uh, we, have, we can also see an augmentation of the number of centrioles. And when we use the cytometry packs, we can clearly see after MPS1 inhibition, uh, a cell accumulates a higher DNA content, so uh, they become polyploid in reality, in uh, dose and time uh, uh, fashion. So we decide to, uh, let me say, to investigate other, uh, uh, other uh, marker of the, of, the, of the cell cycle, like the cycling B for the G2M uh, uh, transition or cycling E, which are uh, expressed in late G1 phase, or maybe the incorporation of the EDU, which are a trimidine analog to investigate or to, to check the, uh, the DNA duplication, or also the uh, histone 3 phosphorylation, which are a marker of the mitosis. And we can clearly see here that cell continue to express the cycling B after, after MPS1 inhibition. 
and also continue to the incorporation of, of the EDU, at least after, after uh, two days of, of treatment, and also exhibition of the significant fraction of this uh, uh, Eastern 3 uh, uh, phosphorylation. And all this marker uh, confirmed that cell continue cycling and continue uh, 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 this mitose entry. So we checked also for the stack, the spindle assembly checkpoint. When we inhibit MPS1, we can clearly see that the stack are completely abolished in this control condition. We check the stack by uh, 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 following the Buber one, which are an, uh, another, uh, let me say, uh, um, executor of the spindle assembly checkpoint. So when we uh, are in a control condition, we can clearly see that Buber one are co-localized in the kinetic core and in the uh, um, prometaphyl. He is completely out, he's off during the, 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 mm, the metaphase and in the condition of when we inhibit MPS1, we can clearly see that stack as is a completely uh, uh, abolished and the amount of buber one is uh, hugely uh, 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 increased. You can clearly see here uh, some uh, uh, um, aberrant metaphase uh, 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 comparatively to the control uh, situation. Here, for example, look at this beautiful uh, 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 picture of this beautiful metaphase in control condition. And here, cell after MPS1 inhibition, are the, the metaphase are completely uh, uh, um, uh, disor disorganized and uh, 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 completely uh, uh, aberrant. And we noted also an augmentation of number of centrosomes. And then during the anaphase, comparatively to the control, uh, we uh, are in the presence, of, uh, the presence of the aberrant anaphases. And during the cell division, we can clearly see some internuclear bridge here, for example, which are a bridge between two nucleus and, uh, or, or, or uh, micronucleus or even multi-lobulation here. So we decided to follow cell or to film cell in reality to, to really understand what, uh, what, uh, uh, what happened when we uh, uh, inhibit MPS1. So in control condition, so this is a, a HTP uh, GFP cell, so cell with a uh, fluorescent uh, nucleus. In the control condition, we can see cell uh, dividing, so condensation of the, uh, of the nucleus, then uh, normal division. This one, for example. So in any generation, let me say, two daughter cell, two identical daughter cell. But when we inhibit MPS1, if we follow the cell, for example, cell tries to undergo mitosis and, and, and divide, but uh, fails, so become bigger and polyploid. Then another round, but uh, she fails, and continue being polyploid at least until the end of this movie. So we are in the presence of a really big cell. And in this condition, for example, when you follow the cell, she condensates nucleus and tries to undergo division, but she fails. Then continue to cycle and to divide, and to, 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 yes, and enter mitosis, another round of failed cell division become very giant cell, and then undergo death here. So cell continue to cycle, and being one, uh, uh, one big cell uh, before dying, but in some case, here for example, if we follow the cell, cell uh, 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 divided, but one of the other cells died, then another, uh, 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 another division, and the other cell died, before complete died, and this one died during mitosis. So we are in the presence of several phases, let me say, of the cell after MPS1 inhibition. So here we can see, for example, some uh, representative snapshot of, of, of this live video microscopy for control, uh, for control uh, um, situation or after uh, inhibition. And you can, uh, if we follow this uh, uh, lesion, so, so um, yellow for first, for first aborted mitosis, orange for the second one, and uh, 
red for third uh, aborted mitosis and black for death, we can see that cell can undergo several fates, like uh, executing one uh, uh, aborted mitosis, or maybe three consecutive ones, maybe div division then death, or maybe one aborted mitosis then a division then a death. So we performed kind of single cell fate, so we followed a single cell and we see what happens. For example, in control condition, the, 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 the green snap means that cell executed a normal division. But here in the context of uh, amplicon inhibition with this molecule, with SP600125, we see clearly that cell undergo first about of mitosis and second one. But this kind of analysis give us an information uh, uh, relative to really one cell and we, ha we cannot have an idea about the, the, the whole population of the, of the treated cell. So we tried kind of other basic uh, uh, analysis like genealogical cell fate profiling. But this remain, uh, 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 let me say, shy. this remain insufficient to, 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 to understand what really happened to a huge population. So we think it to other uh, uh, model and we uh, find this way to represent results. So we analyze more than 200 cell and we call it the transgenerational cell fate profiling, meaning every uh, division will constitute a generation. So in a control, in a, in a control uh, situation, the first cell could represent the first uh, uh, um, cell division, and uh, the second circle represents the second cell division, normal division. Uh, so we took a film of, uh, uh, let me say, approximately Three division, that means three days of, of freedom ecosystem. But when we inhibit MPS1, we clearly see that more than half of cells undergo an abort of mitosis. And, but even the cell who executed the normal, or not, not really normal, but who, who, who performed a cell division, the daughter cell undergo death here. And the cell who executed a, an abnormal or who, who executed um, an abortive cell uh, division undergo other abortive cell division and uh, well and also cell is a, a fraction of cell who, under, who undergo um, aborted mitosis uh, uh, execute a normal division then consequent death so but this kind of analysis can give us uh, an information of what happened during three days for whole population of, 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 uh, of treated cell. So uh, we uh, already say that uh, this kind of death is a, um, uh, is apoptotic one, and when we talk when we talk about death uh, in uh, uh, in a cell cycle perturbation, we clearly we clearly talk about the mitotic catastrophe. So the MPS1 inhibition. Uh, uh, and use a polypolarization and uh, depolypolarization cascade leading to an unstable uh, 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 state of the cell and this uh, uh, this lead to uh, the loss of the mitochondrial transmembrane potential and the consequent cytochrome C release and activation of caspase and also the phosphatidylserine exposure to the surface. So cell die uh, by a mitotic catastrophe after MPS1 inhibition. And also, uh, uh, we, uh, yes, so cell die after MPS1 inhibition, and thus MPS1 inhibition can be used for chemotherapy. And we decided to, uh, 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 to study the effect of co inhibition of MPS1 and also uh, the use of the Pachytaxel, the Taxol, which are uh, a very uh, known and uh, uh, very uh, used. Uh, um, let me say poisoned uh, or uh, drug for the, uh, in chemotherapy. And we use it a sublethal dose, dose of Pachytaxel and also a non-toxic dose of MPS1 uh, inhibitor. And we showed that when we put them, when, when we, when we uh, co-treat a cell with these uh, two molecules, we increase the sensitivity, so the sensitivity to the cell or of the cell and uh, this uh, uh, a great synergistic 
synergistic effect is also uh, 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 clear when we analyze cycle, cell cycle. So uh, Pachytac cells here or uh, FS1 inhibitor in low doses and use uh, lesser, uh, let me say, uh, cell cycle per per perturbation. But when we put them together, we uh, find the, um, uh, all the, let me uh, <laughs> say, all the, all the perturbation of the, of, of the MPS1, uh, of the complete inhibition of the MPS1. And when we move to the uh, in vivo model, we clearly see that in, uh, when we uh, inoculate or when we inject the tumor, to the immunodeficient mice and we treat them, uh, uh, we clearly see that comparatively to the control, the, in, the injection of MPS1 inhibitor in green or uh, injection of Pachytac cell in red uh, decrease the, 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 the tumor uh, evolution, evol evolution, let me say, and when we inject a combination of the, of the, of the two, we, compu we completely, let me say, arrest the progression of the, of the tumor. And this is already now tested in uh, phase one dose, uh, phase one study, clinical study in the United States. So I will quickly finish with, with the invasion. So if MPS1 inhibition uh, um, induces cytotoxic, cytotoxic effect and provoke mitotic catastrophe, uh, maybe some uh, other good effect, let me say, in a cancer therapy context uh, can, can uh, well, so we investigate the cell migration and the invasion. <laughs> uh, we have to know that distant metastasis uh, are the most common cause of the death or of death from soft tissue sarcoma, which uh, are uh, maybe the most metastatic uh, cancer. So we used for our investigation a cell from this uh, tumor, and especially the MFH1, the malignant tuberous histosarcoma, which constitute uh, uh, the, the, the most common adult soft tissue sarcoma. And we uh, compared uh, two uh, cell lines, took it from uh, metastatic uh, sarcoma, the MFH uh, 132 and 137, to other uh, model of, of cancer like the MDA, uh, up, like the breast cancer cell, the MDA, which are very uh, uh, motile and very invasive, but also comparatively to the uterus, for example, or uh, HCT uh, or LS cell. And we clearly see that our cells are really uh, more, uh, more motile than all the cells when we use it kind of uh, normalized cell to evaluate the, the motility. So we put kind of stopper in, of silicon into, into, uh, into a well and we put cell. And uh, after complete addition, we remove it and we uh, follow cell. And after one day of, uh, of, uh, of uh, incubation or of, uh, of incubation, we can see how cell uh, uh, move to the uh, to the empty space and calculate the, 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 the field area. But also, when you use a classic, let me say, classic uh, uh, test, which are the, the, the scratch test, we clearly see here, comparatively to the control fibroblast, our two models are really, really motile and really uh, 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 really motor when we use this model. So this is a movie took uh, during uh, one day. So our cells are really speed in, in, uh, when we, uh, they move together. But also, when we used another technique to follow individual cell, so comparatively to the control here, for example, we can clearly see this cell, really speed cell. Uh, which are uh, an MFH um, 137 uh, sarcoma cell. So we can say that our model, it's really uh, a motile comparatively to the control one. And, and So our models are very uh, motile in, in, uh, in group, but also individually. And also when we use the uh, 3D invasion uh, model, a 3D collagen invasion model, we can clearly see that our two cells, our two models 
are very energy comparatively to the control. But when we look, you know that a cancer cell are a, a very heterogeneous population, and uh, we confirm it here when we look to the cancer cell, for example. This uh, this fast uh, profile, uh, this is the fast profile of the of the cancer cell. But when we look to the uh, to this cell, for example, we can clearly see kind of um, we clearly have two population uh, of deep Lewis or at least, at least two populations, diploid and tetraploid cells, and we confirm it by executing a metaphase spread, and we, we clearly show that comparatively to the control, our cell population, or our cell model, are constituted, are constituted by a distinct two uh, uh, population of near to tetraploid and near to diploid cells. So we decided to establish a pure uh, subclonal population by, clonal, by, uh, by uh, cytometry, and the first reflex was, let, uh, let us put a big cell uh, to, uh, together. Let us put one single big cell uh, uh, and one uh, single small cell in a well, and let, let us see what happened. And we uh, obtained a pure diploid cell and pure tetraploid cell, but also an unstable uh, population, unstable one, unstable two. Uh, respect, uh, Unstable one if the cells are mostly diploid, and unstable two if cells are mostly tetraploid. But this, uh, uh, we obtain these cells independently of the size, in reality, from small or, or, or big cells. So we uh, follow with, or we, we decide to, to investigate the, 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 the motility potential of this uh, clone, and at least, and at least for the rest of the, the, the speech, we focus on tetraploid and diploid population. And we clearly uh, um, uh, show that uh, the tetraploid population are more motile than diploid ones by using several uh, techniques. In uh, MFS, uh, 137 cells or even one, uh, 132 cells. And nicely, or uh, nicely, we are surprised by the fact that this tetraploid clone still express the mitotic, uh, uh, mitotic kinases and executor of the spindle assembly shaft point, like the MFAS1, for example, here, or even X5 or Buber1. And when it's the case of uh, AB1 or cofolin, which are a very important prote protein in the context of uh, invasion, we clearly see that there are no difference between tetraploid here in and red and, and diploid. Also, uh, we use other, 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 let me say, protein to check if there are uh, any problem, and in reality, only, for example, here for, for the junk one, we have the same level, but only when it's the case of mitotic uh, kinases, at least for our cell model. Huh? So, tetrafluid clone still express or over-express over mitotic kinases. So, we decided to perform kind of uh, screening, so we screened kind of an in-house chemo, chemo bank, and uh, uh, we uh, combine the cell death and cell migration and cell migration, uh, 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 let me say, uh, uh, cell death and cell migration, and we decide to, 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 to fix or to, to find if there are any uh, drugs who inhibit the cell migration without being toxic, at least for early time. And uh, we clearly find that uh, both in diploid and tetraploid, we, we, we obtain two, uh, two molecules which are reversin and SB1600125. Uh, so this, uh, you remember that these uh, molecules are um, an MPS1 inhibitor uh, drugs. So we confirm this result by using three different uh, subclones, diploid subclone and three diploid, diploid uh, tetraploid subclone, and we clearly show or, or confirm that these two drugs or these two MPS1 inhibitor inhibit migration, both in diploid, but in huge manner in the tetraploid one. And also, uh, when we use in the, the newest model of invasion, which are the the the, the, the um, I forget the name of the test, but it's kind of ball of cell. We we we. Uh, Cell to, to, to form a ball, 
and we put them in a, in a, in a, in a collagen in condition in, in a, uh, with drug or not and you clearly see that in a control condition cell uh, invade the space and they invade the collagen and not in the control uh, co and, and, and the treated condition also at the, at the late time let me say after one day so I will conclude, and it's uh, good for you, I think. So then the inactivation of MPS1 with small molecule uh, inhibitor or specific SCRNI arises the proliferation of cancer cells. And this inhibition uh, induced cell cycle perturbation and polyploidy, 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 and the cancer cell succumbed to this uh, inhibition via activation of the antrastic pathway of apoptosis, and especially the microcycle of stroke. And this inhibition is uh, um, synergized with Taxol or the ABT, which are the b cell permitted protein inhibitor. And these results are validated in vitro and in vivo, and also a phase one clinical study. And the tetraploid cell, uh, sarcoma cell, over, uh, that overexpress MPS1 kinases are more motile and invasive than diploid one. And this potential is completely abolished uh, when we inhibit MPS1 with several inhibitors. And you can also maybe uh, understand more what I presented by uh, reading this paper, because I'm not a good talker. And I will uh, finish by uh, uh, thank uh, my collaborator, Ilio and Lorenzo, with the Kremlin Laboratory, uh, uh, also Nathalie and Ariane and, uh, and Montpellier Group. And thank you very much uh, for being here. Thank you.